So this is Kathy Brox of LUTG Radio. Hello, it's Michael Gills. Can I help you? Hi, Mr. Michael Gills. This is Kathy Brox of LUTG Radio, call sign WKKP. And um, where, where are you? I'm in Chicago, Illinois. In oh, a, really? In the city, yes. Um, and so we're live on air, and I just wanted to ask you about the uh, positive train controls for the Metro train because it's it's similar to the train in Hoboken, New Jersey, uh, where the accident yeah, we're, occurred. We're live right now? Uh, yeah, it's radio station. We're live. I right, just wanted well, to know, I'm, I'm, do we have something that makes us secure uh, for Metra as far as like stopping it? Okay, he he actually hung up on us. Okay, so uh, there you go. Metra does not want to answer any questions. Uh, so what we're going to try and do is maybe shoot him an email to see if we can get them to answer whether or not Metra has any positive train controls uh, for the Metra trains. Because uh, as you know, the, uh, the accidents do occur. And... Uh, and it would be great for the people to know that there's something in place to assist them. For example, uh, the NTSB has uh, implemented positive train controls for trains that uh, enter uh, into the cities, trains that can, that carry uh, chemicals, and they're going through cities uh to and fro and this has been started since 2008 congress required a class one railway uh main lines handling poisonous inhalation hazard uh materials and and positive um and any rail railroad main lines with regularly scheduled uh inner city and commuter rail passenger services they implement they had them to they required them to fully implement the positive train control by December 31st, 2015. And then they went and stretched that out to uh, December 21st, uh, 31st, December 31st, 2018. And so while some cities uh, and some companies have implemented it, not all of them have. Um, and they do get a, um, they get a stretch in a deadline as they meet certain requirements. And so the original requirement uh, for the positive train control deadline was, again, December 31st, 2015. And then um, the and then it was stretched out to December. It looks like uh, currently up to December 31st, 2020 for potential deadline if railroads meet certain conditions. Um so uh and this was done uh, for the uh it was it's called the Railroad Safety Improvement Act of 2008 and so once they meet certain conditions uh which are uh laid out then they could uh get an extension on improvements and the federal government has issued um millions of dollars uh to the operators uh, to assist in it uh for example the federal uh railroad administration uh it uh, continues to support them as well by and they provided 650 million dollars to passenger railways uh railroads including nearly 400 million in the recovery act funding and it also says that i'm i'm on, i'm on the uh fra dot uh gov it's fra dot 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 gov is what it is and i'm just reading directly from it and it says that uh um the um the Federal Railroad Administration, they issued nearly $1 billion in loans to the Metropolitan Transportation Authority to implement the PTC on Long Island Railroad and Metro North. And so that's just an example of uh, what they've been doing. And then um, there was a test bed in Pueblo, Colorado for the PTC. And then um, the FRA, the Federal Railroad Administration, they made $25 million available in uh, competitive grant funding to railroad suppliers and state and local governments. So this is money that the state and local governments can apply for in the form of a grant. So then the question becomes, has Metra in this Chicagoland area applied for some of those grants? Uh, are they no longer available to them? Is there a reason why they didn't apply for them or have they applied for them, but they just haven't been able to 
put everything in process as of yet? And uh, uh, does the CTA have anything set up to make things uh easier for the train operators to stop or if the train operators the engineers that are controlling the train is it something to help them in case they become incapacitated if like for example uh for the train in new boken uh it is stated that possibly the conductors not the conductor the engineer's hand slipped off of the control so if the engineer hand slips off the control that stops the train. Is there something in place that would take over, you know? And so that would be a, a really vital thing that we would need for all major transportations. Because if only, if it's only the slip of a hand and everything goes haywire, I, I would think that even one life is worth putting something in store to stop that from happening. And so the a question goes out to all of the uh, train operators and in, in the cities and in the suburbs, do they have anything set up to uh, make the uh, riders feel more secure as far as them being able to keep us safe without the trains jumping the tracks, without the trains running a stop or running into another train, train on train collision. Is there anything in place other than a manual break by the operator to stop the trains? Is this something that's set up automatically that will stop the trains? And then here's another thing. If you've ever played with trains as a kid, you know that if uh, one little piece of paper on a toy train track can knock the train off the track, is it something that'll stop it uh, from hitting debris, or is it something that will uh, will will the train do something like an automatic stop when it shouldn't stop? Is it something to keep it to operate correctly? Because you know, it, 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 evidently the everything is operated on a computer. So while everything is operated on a computer, of course, there's a manual override. But is there is there a computer override for? A manual error like a man like a, an engineer's hand coming off of the brake so again that's what the uh, positive train controls would do they would take over in the event that um, the uh, human operator is not able to or at a certain point in the stop it would automatically just take over and that way the human person doesn't really have to rely on hold on a second, do I need to press this? It would just do it automatically. So um, is that implemented in Chicago? Is it implemented that once you get to a certain amount of feet close to the uh, uh, passengers to board, does the train automatically begin to stop on its own? So if it does, that would actually make it a lot safer for passengers. And so the CTA um, is looking into what they have implemented. And Metro basically hunk up on us. And so maybe they're going to try and figure out what it is that they have implemented, if anything at all. And so I'm combing through their websites to see what I can find. And so far, I haven't found anything, but that doesn't mean that it's not there. It just means that I haven't found it. And since Metro hung up on me, I don't really know what to assume other than maybe they don't have anything. So, uh, again, this is Kathy Brox for LUTG Radio, WKKP Digital Broadcasting, Chicago, Illinois. We'll keep you tuned.